if you have been following world events a uh, tragedy happened here in st louis missouri my old high school there was a shooting uh i've been trying to work through how i feel about everything so forgive me if it feels like i'm a little hesitant to talk about this but it's just it's just a crazy world we live in and i don't really talk about stuff like this on this channel please you all treat each other better you know learn how to um deal with conflict a different way and i know i know that sometimes you can't do what you hope you can do because we all move by emotions and we all get fearful and we all may get aggravated or angry at times but i'm hoping that you know we can come together and to you know really work on being kinder to each other being nicer to each other and making sure that we respect each other because I feel like that's the first part of what's going to make this world better is being able to understand and being able to respect each other. I might be speaking out of the side of my mouth, but it's just something I wanted to say real quick. Uh, keep those families in prayers. And I know there's been many deaths and many shootings that's happening in these schools all across U.S. and other areas of the world probably is, you know, also. But please keep these folks in your prayers, whatever higher being you believe in. This is a crazy thing to go through and I can't even really imagine me being in this situation. And I hope that I never have to be in that situation. But the fact that this was like literally a few miles away from where I work at and where my wife work at, um, it really hit home with us. So it, being that I'm an educator and I work at a school as well, <laughs> it was not a fun day. So, um, Keep that in mind, you all. Uh, be kind to each other. You know, find a way to increase the peace in your life, uh, whether that's reading a book, whether that's sitting down and cakewalk and working on some music, or, you know, or whether that's taking a walk in the park. But find something that's going to make you happy. And then once you find your happy moment, try to spread that happiness to some other people. There's a lot of people that's hurting the world, and I know we can't win every battle, but we can at least start by making that bit of a difference. So I challenge you tomorrow or today, you know, if it's you're already up and getting ready to go to work or go somewhere or tomorrow when you wake up to go to work or school or wherever you go to be just that little bit more braver, to be kind, um, speak to someone you never spoke to before, you know, uh, open the door for someone that you may never open the door for that kind gesture it does plant a seed of positivity that i believe will help in the long run i am going to be taking a break from posting any type of videos whatsoever on this particular channel for one month um, it's been on my heart lately because the last few times that i've posted videos even though they may be doing well and you all may find value in it and i want to make sure that i'm giving value and nothing but true value and sometimes i get in this situation where there are so many things that i want to record and that i really want to give you all but i don't have the time or i don't have the energy uh, i was sick for a little while you know nothing major when COVID or nothing like that but um, my allergies are acting crazy and it was just that I just didn't feel like posting uh, physically but mentally I'm thinking like oh man I want to do this 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 and I never want to get to the point where the physical and the mental part don't agree with each other sometimes people are mentally you know stressed or mentally fatigued uh, physically they feel like doing it but mentally they don't feel like doing it I was the opposite so um I feel like I need to step away so I can also work on some things because there are some new ideas that I threw at you all. I never got a chance to really follow up on them or really get dig back into it. Um, of course, we have the Pump My Jam playlist. If you're new to the channel, maybe you don't know what that is, but it's basically it's a series where we sit down, we analyze and we talk about your music uh, and what makes it so great. It's not a critique to say you need to do this better or the sound isn't good or you can't sing or anything like that but it's more to acknowledge the creative mind that each of us have and to really commend you on your ability to produce or write or sing a song whichever 
and share it with other people. So if you are interested in doing Pump My Jam in the future, because it's coming back, definitely check out the form that I have below is somewhere way down there. I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere down there below. So you can definitely click on that and check that out. Also, um, I am going to be doing some more reaction videos. Um, I started my first reaction video, which I think went pretty well. Uh, I just feel like, you know, it's a new area to explore and there's so many things that I want to do with it. I am a very comical person. I, I love comedy. I may not act like it. I mean, maybe sometimes you see me, you might think that I'm serious, but uh, I really do like to laugh. So I like to bring entertainment to things. And I think that reaction component is going to be great for that. But I'm trying to center it around music, music tutorials, you know, um, musicianship. I might even do some things that are more geared towards Cakewalk by Band Lab, but reaction videos. So, but I got to do a lot of research for that. So this will give me time to take off and do more research. Um, also, remember the song, if you know the channel, and if you're new, maybe you don't know it, but remember that song that I started like Super World, like a long time ago, uh, probably like three, four or five months ago. Yeah. I never did finish that song, but I did really, for the most part, I, I think I mixed it the way I wanted to be mixed. I still want to tweak a few things and I want to get that song released. So hopefully I can release that song sometime in November or in December. Uh, and it'll go towards a new project that I'm working on. And hopefully sometime next year, you all, I can release a full fledged, at least eight to 10 track album um haven't done it yet but i've got so many songs so many songs i've started on cakewalk that i've never finished and some of you all have been along the ride to see all of those songs that i've never finished and i've got a lot of songs that are in my head that you haven't even heard yet uh but those gonna give me a chance to work on some new things while i'm away now during this process of this sabbatical i will definitely be commenting um you know liking uh, checking you all out, seeing what you're doing on your channels. Uh, and I also probably will be doing, um, no, not probably. I'm sorry. I definitely will be doing some type of post, um, maybe every day or once a week or so just to check in or do some polls here and there, uh, just to keep an eye on you all and see what, not keep an eye, but keep up with you all. Cause I don't want you to feel like I'm detached. I don't want to be detached. I just want to have more time to plan and really edit like some of my series like my cactorial series i really took a lot of time to edit those videos you know i would spend probably two or three days editing one video uh, and now i feel like lately i've just been kind of throwing them together and giving it to you all and i don't want to get to that point where i feel like i'm throwing something together just to get it to you so maybe you can understand that however you did not come to hear all of that so if you skip to this part what's going on everybody it's your boy just norm and I'm right here to do a tutorial dealing with automation. Now, this is not an advanced automation. This is just the bare essentials of how to automate your faders or your effects inside Cakewalk. Let's get right into it. <laughs> 